John, I'm sorry, I lost all your money. It's such a big shock.、Mm. Of course, then we immediately w- w- worry about、uh, what do we do tomorrow, because we had no money to buy food, even to pay the rent. At that time, nobody take too seriously the PC, and that's the beginning of the Kingston. I remember that SoftBank buying at eighty percent, eighty percent of Kingston、uh, stake in nineteen ninety six, right? And at that time, you gave the bonus for company members one hundred thousand dollars, one hundred million, one hundred million dollars in total. In total, people are most important value. The assets, without them, is nothing. Xin chào quý vị khán giả của Việt Success. Tôi là Mai Trang, là host của Business Insight, một chương trình nơi chúng tôi cùng trò chuyện với các chủ doanh nghiệp, các lãnh đạo của các doanh nghiệp hoặc các chuyên gia để cùng tìm hiểu về những góc nhìn có thể chỉ họ mới biết và đâu đó có thể giúp cho các doanh nghiệp đột phá trong việc kinh doanh của họ. Họ sẽ chia sẻ những câu chuyện gì cho chúng ta. Talking about memory chips or SSD or USB, which are some products that we have used at least once in our lives. I believe that Kingston is at the top of my brand. So in、uh, today's episode, it's such a great honor for me to welcome a very special guest who has come here from the U.S. and then Taiwan and now in Ho Chi Minh City, Mr. John Tu, CEO and co-founder of Kingston. So, hi, hi. hello, very happy to meet you. I'm also very happy to meet you. First of all, I'm really appreciated that I have a chance to meet one of the best interviewer, and my honor.、Uh, and so. It's 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 honor. Then I also really appreciate it. Have a chance to really getting to know more about today's Vietnam. At first, earlier I just welcome you in China. So why did you decide to move from Taiwan to America? The fact is, the truth is that I I did not move directly from Taiwan to America. I Had a problem. There's a problem to get the a visa at that time. I was a very bad student, very <laughs> bad student. Yeah, I was kicked out of school twice. Oh, so that means that I don't have chance, opportunity to be in a good high school or university because I'm my. My score is really poor, so I had to leave、mm. in order to build a better future or chance for myself. Then、uh, U.S. rejected my visa, and then I said, "But I still want to go somewhere else." Then, and there's for no reason. I just decided Germany. So、uh, I got a visa,、uh, and then here, here I go. I just went there. And to、uh, beginning of my my younger life in Germany. So why and how did you start Kingston? Kingston was born because there was a tragic event happen. We had a little bit of saving, not not much. So we, we decided to give this the saving to a, a stock broker. And he promised us. I said, "I will grow your money, or whatever is, is that." Sounds so very familiar. Okay, yeah. So David and I both we、uh, gave, we just gave all our saving to the stockbroker that year in October. The whole American U.S. stock crash, really crash them. At the end of that day. We were told, David, my partner, John, I'm sorry, I lost all your money, no,、okay. all of them, just gone, just like that, and it's such a big shock. Of course, then we immediately w- w- worry about、uh, what do we do tomorrow, because we had no money 
to buy food even, to pay the rent, and then all of that, right? And that's the beginning of the King's Sin, because we had to do something quick in order to survive. So because you and your co-founder, David, were broke at that moment, so yes, you yes. had to find an I idea. I have survived, yeah, oh, to survive. Right. Yeah. But, but why? In many other ideas, did you guys choose to start with the memory chips? I wonder. My partner, David... Uh, he designs the, the, the product. And so he knows more about, uh, PC. At that time, PC is only, it's, it's not important. Nobody take too seriously the PC. And then he said, he thinks PC will become one of the main major, the, uh, tool for the company to to grow using the technology PC. So then he said, okay, let's look at the PC. What can we do? Um, luckily, he designed a um, memory product before. So he said, well, PC's memory product is very simple to, to design and to produce. Um, he said, but at that time, we didn't know, is, that, is there a need? Is there a market? Then we found out that that was the time that um, PCs, Apple, okay, Apple and the other PC, they began to taking off. And then we heard that memory chips is one of the product. It's very difficult to find because the, because they were. Everybody now want to use the PC uh, Apple product also. And that's when we made a decision. I said, why don't we make this one to compete with, uh, with the original? At that time, it was a risk because we don't know what original, like IBM or like that. They will sue us maybe. So you, you, uh, so we took a, um, gamble. We made the product. Uh, but we didn't have resources, money, meaning that. Yeah, I was about to ask. Yes. Where, where was the money? Money, zero. No yeah. money. And we, we, luckily we had a friend who runs a manufacturer for this facility. So we went to him. I said, we don't have money to pay you. But since we're a friend, maybe you can do, do us a favor, right? Then he said, yeah, no, he said, how many? We said five. Five? You started. We could out we couldn't five? afford to have more. Okay. So we said five. And they said, okay. As soon as we have this five, we begin began to call some people I, I we sound. knew that they are handling PC product. We said, Yeah, we have only five. So that, then he said, Does it work? Uh because at that time there's they don't trust that. Oh, uh, then I would say, come here, pick up, you take back and try test it. If it doesn't work, no problem. If it works, then you keep it, then you pay us. Then his, his question is, uh, our request was, is that we don't have enough money to give you credit. Um, you needed cash yeah, the, at that moment? W- yes, we have zero cash at that time. And so then it says, no problem. The, I will pay you cash. And that's the beginning. So he will come, he came, pick up the product and pay cash right there. So it's very quick. Uh, from product, turn into money. Into right? cash. That was the beginning. So... Then we immediately find out is that if this guy really needs this product, there must be more people need this product. The truth is that everybody have a lot of PCs in their warehouse. They cannot ship because memory was missing, right? We are in an area was unknown, unknown to a lot of people. And, but it's really a, Good opportunity. And so that was the beginning of, of the Kingston at that time. 
Wow, you started、yeah. with only five memories at the beginning. Then, only five. Wow,、yeah. just five. I remember that and zero cash. Zero cash. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. We、nice. we need we want to be look like a professional. <laughs> so <laughs> we have five, right? So it, it's not very good. You get hey, here's five. You take it. So we have to try to we try to package it. You have to do a packaging.、Yeah. Uh, we bought some material and we did ourselves. Packaging、uh, that looks more professional, and that was fun. Okay, but I I am kind of curious about the name Kingston. So I I believe that back then, have you named it Kingston yet? Not yet. Later. Not yet. Okay. We we uh we had no idea uh the legal process that do. So we didn't know that um if you want to uh give. Name your company, but you 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 need to check with the lawyer. Said, is this、uh, names already taken、yeah. by somebody else there?、Uh, and then we 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 were told that. So we would try many many names. Most of them is already taken. And so then I remember when I was seventeen,、uh, uh, there is a group of singer from. California, actually, they call it Kingston Trail. Three young men, and I love their music. It's so beautiful, and so I remember that. Then,、uh, so I decided to、so、how about Kingston Technology. So they they did the re- research, and they said no problem.、Uh, you can have that. That's the reason. Okay, is <laughs> because the music. Yeah, so you name your company after, after a music、yeah. band, music band, Kingston. Yeah, yeah. Wow, right. But but、uh, what about the 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 Rex hat that I see in the logo of、oh, Kingston、okay. and the design of the logo as well? What does it mean? That is、um, long after we s- officially started the business, and then the the、uh, uh, the graphic designer because we said we we needed to have some. Material to put an advertising like we need something, and he、um, asked me, "Is how do you want to be be seen, look like?" So you have to,、um, you know, something represent your company. I, so I thought about it. I said, "I want to be look as a strong and、uh, bold and shocking." Shocking. I wanted to have the shocking effect,、oh, okay. and so the people remember you, right? And so he came back with that at、uh, the 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 design with a head and chopped half、yeah. with the memories jumping out of the the head, like the memory, the memory, yeah. yeah. So so then it it was really、uh, very effective. So people saw that one. It was、uh, that is really. Cool! You have this idea. Blah, blah, blah. That's 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 why. All right, very interesting that story. But now, over thirty、uh, six year already. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, such 40, a long time. Forty, almost forty. Almost forty、yeah. years. So, here, sitting here right now,、yeah. reflecting on the journey that you have been through. How are you feeling about that journey? Well, you would think that well,、um, me, I, or my partner will really think, "Oh, here we are.、Uh, we were successful, or、uh, very happy." We, you know this thing. But I, I don't believe even today.、Um, when I get into the car and driving to the office, I still f- feel like. We were in the garage, so in other words, that he he my partner feels the same way.、Uh, in other words, the the success that we have achieved has very little、um, influence in what we think about ourselves, and that's true actually. So we're happy to go to, go to the work and to to conduct the business to look after the people. Uh, and and we realize that person people are most important valued the f- assets. Without them, it's nothing. So then our our belief is that you have to treat 
the people that are working in your company for you and treat them like your family. And if you, you're willing to do this for your sister, then you're willing to do with your employee like that. And that was the beginning and that we decided that's how the culture should look like. So you treat your company's members like your family members. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, that leads me to uh, one thing that I know. Uh, I remember that SoftBank buying a 80%, yes, 80% percent of Kingston uh, stake in 1996, right, right. right? And at that time, you gave the bonus for company members, right. $100,000. 100 million. 100 million dollars in total? In total. When Sopping and announced this, this deal, 80% Kingston, da, da, and they said, John, I want you to come to Tokyo to make a uh, announcement for the press because they are a public company. So they needed to have an announcement. I went there and we did a press conference. And then I, I received a phone call from LA Times and a reporter I know. So that he, he saw the news. He called me and he said, John, I just saw this from the news. Is that, is that true? I said, yeah, 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 it's happening. And, and, and then he said, but John, I remember your philosophy is also, it's always taking care, take care of your, your employee. So what are you going to do now? You have, uh, about this much uh, money now uh, that I was called, um, in, in surprise. I, I was not ready to give an answer, but I feel like, uh, if I don't answer, that maybe looks like I'm not sincere or, or something. So I just grab a number. I said, of course, we, we also always will share. And t- take care of our people. And she said, how much? <laughs> so I said, 100 million. And that news, then he printed, right? So they were the first newspaper printing this news. Then all of a sudden, all the other agency and news picked up. There was unheard of. Some company gave bonus 100 million. So all the newspaper throughout the country and, 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 and station, TVs, you know, they all report this one. And so we became instantly recognizable and the company you know, like that. Um, as a matter of fact, not too long ago, when I traveled to Europe, I think it was Norway and I was dining with uh, our, our, our people in a small restaurant. And then we, we started to order food, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then he said, uh, then we, uh, I think we pay with the company's credit card. And then the owner saw this one and he said, wait, wait a minute. You are the one I, I, I heard, I saw in the TV. You're giving a hundred million dollars. Oh my gosh. E- even today, people still remember yes. that. So that was, I, I feel like so good about, you know, what happened with them. Also in 1995, you ran an ad on the Wall Street Journal on Orange County Register, yeah, on yeah. LA Times, right, right. but you didn't uh, yeah. introduce your products. You introduce your employees. You introduce your partners. Yeah. Yeah. You name them. You thank them. Uh, you know so, that one. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew that one. That is the day we hit 1 billion sales. How did your employees uh, feel at that time? Uh, surprise, number one. Um, number two, the numbers, they saw the number. So they are very excited to see the number. And then they are also surprised. Said, oh, so that means that, um, you two only keep 20%. So the boss is this, that soft bank or like that. So that kind of mixed feelings is there. Yeah. The offer is that the offer is very good, 
But our goal from the beginning is to keep the family together. And now we're thinking or considering, does, does that mean we are going away from our principle, right? Then I think we look at the reality. That means that our promise to our people from the beginning is that we will always be like family, taking care of every one of you. Let's say for some unlucky reason that our Kingston captain shut the door or closed close the door. At that time, I think what we can do is we gather all the valuable and the cash, what we have, uh, we divide it into, uh, at that time, I think we only have 60 or 80 uh, employee. So, so it's not too difficult, right? But when the time that we were selling and we, we were reaching, I think 300 people already. And now we, we said, let's say we, if someday something happened to Kingston, and luckily we have not, we have not only 60 people, we have 350 people like that. Can we do that? Because we promised that our answer to ourselves was maybe not because it, it, it's a different uh, situation than that, right? And that is the major reason that we said maybe we should do that because once we do that, we will distribute right away. And so the, the, the everybody has in the pocket already. So whatever will happen in the future, it's safe now. So even we uh, have to close down the company, but we already did the part that we promised. That that was the reason. So why didn't you decide to sell just about 10, 20 percent, but 80 percent? Yeah. Why big number? That's like because that? the requirement from SoftBank, there is a reason why they want to acquire 80 percent. It's all about uh, the accounting issue they have. They had some problem with uh, their own business. So they were worried about uh, stock, their stock. So by buying 80% Kingston, Kingston has a very nice looking book. Yeah, because every year profitable, every year profitable. Also in 1995, you ran an ad on uh, Wall Street Journal, on Orange County Register, yeah, on yeah. LA Times. Right, right. But you didn't uh, yeah. introduce your products. You introduce your employees. You introduce your partners. Yeah. Yeah. You name them. You thank them. Uh, you know so, that one. Okay. Yeah, I, I knew that one. That is the day we hit 1 billion sales. And how did it happen? Is this um, people that made us become that. So we decided we want to say thank you to all the people. And then we said, how do we do the best is in Wall Street Journal. So we have a full page in oh, Wall gosh. Street Journal and say, thank you for a billion. All right. That, uh, that's the art article. And it's a very uh, eye-catching. And then we list our employee, every one of them. How many people were that time? I think at that time it's all close to a thousand, maybe. A thousand names on, on the news? I, I believe so. Oh, yeah. gosh. So then we have the t-shirt as a thousand name on that. So this is one way we show our gratitude. Was that a successful campaign? Very, very, because that, uh, first of all, the uh, the title is uh, thanks for a billion. That's that's we really, you know people say what does that mean, and then we have uh, the explanation. We are reaching a billion. It's because of you. Now all of those were those the strategy that you planned to do at first. Like uh, when we reach at this moment, we are going to run an ad like that, or it came out all of a sudden. No, it just happened. And, and when it happened, we were so, so excited. I said, whoa, this is a big, big thing. And, um, the, and, and our guys 
uh, got together. I think it was a marketing person. He said, "Why, why don't we use this opportunity to announce the success and to really reward the our our customer to give them the credit? If without you, it will not be Kingston." And that was the, our marketing guy. So very smart. From what I see, for big companies, when they can stand very strong in the market, they usually have strong core values already. So they have a great philosophy to believe in. So for your company, what about the core values that you guys believe in? Uh, you don't want to do the things to anybody that you don't wish the people do it to you. Based on that principle. The, So how is that you can keep that is basically honesty, um, compassion. Uh, we were the, uh, we were the very few company. We have compassion to our competitor even. It, it, yeah. At that time, there were, uh, a few smaller company. They were doing this similar like the Kingston at that time. They, because they're smaller, sometimes they are out of uh, cash to 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 pay the supplier. So they come to us, and sometimes is the parts because we were much bigger at that time already. So we, we can obtain or or buy the the parts easy and cheaper. You know, so that sometimes when it's a shortage, they have a problem. They they don't get the support. So they will come and say, "We really think if you can help us this month to give us some of the your parts, and it, that will be save our our company." That we have done that all the time, no problem. Although they are our competitor, so we help them have it. So in other words, compassion—that's the word. Compassion is is there, and a fairness. The one, the last one, very important is that so if we do all these things, yeah, we have the success uh, in terms of money point of view. If we don't have a happy life, what does that mean, right? And so we add one more core value is having fun. Life, if you have to have fun, no matter what happens, right? So that's one of the core value. How do you uh, show that core values in your company? Like, how fun is it? I'm, I'm im imagining about some activities in the company, maybe yearly, or what? Can course, you tell yeah, us a little the, bit? Those are the uh, usual thing that the company will do: the Christmas party and and picnic and making a trip for to this one. For example, we together, right? We go all that, and um. Mostly, what I th I think is everyday point of view, and if you only have fun when you have a Christmas party, well, well, so what, right? So it has to be translate into every everyday life. One of them is decisions is that we we don't have office, no office uh, today. I still. I sit in the cubicle with everybody, like just next to me. So that is part of the culture. Was that people wants to talk to anybody? Me, they don't have to knock on the door. They don't have to make an appointment. They just come by. Hey, John, I need to talk to you. The other fun what I'm talking about is really fun. Do some crazy things when you are in a company. Don't. Don't be uh, like uh, other companies. Say, we no, 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 you cannot do that. As uh, we are we're in the office, there. I, I always encourage everybody. If you have some crazy idea and having fun, do it, and and things like that. Uh, so there are many other things I did. Yeah, Sometimes people will think it's crazy, but but to me, what was the craziest? The, the craziest thing will be once in a while, uh, because we have a different department, and then you have a Latin America department, you have the Eastern European department, you have a um, U.S. Or that. So once in a while, uh, I will 
all of a sudden, for no reason, uh, I would just say, hey, Latin, we haven't uh, been together for a long time. So why don't we, right after the five o'clock, let's don't go home. We stayed here. Uh, what do we do? We drink. Okay. Drinking in office in, in the office. normally is is taboo. You, mm -hmm. you don't drink in office. There. That's not a very good thing to do. There, but we said let's have fun. Life has to. So we we make the South American Latin style or or drink. Uh, is is called cachaça. Uh, it's it's a Brazilian drink, and you have to mix things, uh, lemon or that. So we make that, and then we the department we get together, drink, laugh, and talking, and have fun, and that's just one of the things that uh, very spontaneously, uh, no plan, just just do it like that, sort of like that. The relationship that you just told me about with your competitors yeah. is very impressive when you have compassion for your competitors. But what about your uh, your partners? Like, um, how do you build a long-term relationship with your partners? And can you share a few stories about well, that's that Well, that's a tricky thing. Mm. Tricky? Yeah, it's more uh, like uh, your marriage. <laughs> um, I... I have haven't seen any other company the partner share the company partner for forty years. I, I I don't know any other company. So one of the thing people the press always write uh, write about is that it's amazing two together for forty years they are still working nicely together, making the company grow. Having said that, uh, I don't mean that we don't have a uh, different opinion. We don't have once in a while some fight, N not physical fight, but, uh, <laughs> but, but argue about something. Yeah. At the end of the argument, and, um, at least I, this is what I feel. I said, I made my point. I think this is not right. It should be, let's do something different of that. But maybe he has opposite. Then I realized that maybe that's a better idea. But so we always compromise at the end. So there is no um, no injury in the in the company. I, I have to say we 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 do have argument uh, about who is right. I will write all that. Mm -hmm. How did you resolve it by uh, by showing compassion? But, but no, here, here it is. If I argue. And to a point, then you, me, were telling me, you, you push to the boundary already. If you push that more, it will be more hurting than, you know, helping. So he, he does that too, but he's a more stronger personality. He is, he is a, like this. Sometimes he tells me that too. John, I can And also, I will see when that happened, I will just say, okay, I don't want to talk about this anymore until maybe tomorrow. It's another day. So tomorrow, usually my opinion, I think, change. So I don't want to go through this, this kind of a conflict like that. Um, the conclusion is, yes, we have a different opinion, different idea on what to do, what not to do. But we always end up with no big fight. Wow, 40 years of relationship with the yeah. partners. Yeah, as yeah. you mentioned, yeah. it's like a marriage. and It's worse. It's worse than a marriage. You can divorce your wife, but then you cannot divorce <laughs> your, your partner. It's there. No. Yeah, because you have a lot of yeah. children to yeah. take care of. Yeah. Like thousands of, of yeah. people to yeah. take care of. Wow. And... Um, I, I am curious about one strategy that you have done uh, in the past that you think has the most impact on your company. The most impact? Yeah, the most impactful strategy that you have done. Not to borrow money from anywhere in the bank. Um, that will impact your decision a lot. And so from the beginning, we tried have everything we buy it with the cash, whatever we have there. 
And so we don't have any, or we all bank or something. And even until now, we always have the bank come knock on the door and say, Oh, you know, I will give you credits to 800 million. You can have it now, but you don't have to take it even. Uh, it's there for you, waiting for you. And then the other bank will do the same thing. We can, you know, I give you 1.2 billion, uh, cash uh, reserve for you. We rarely take, um, that kind of offer. And there is, there is time we see that Maybe there is a temporary, the cash shortage because we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow. And that is good to have something reserved there and not to touch it. So when we have that, um, availability from the bank, it's only there. Um, we rarely say, okay, let's draw some money and that, you know, that, that is the success. I tell you what. The, the crisis, um, the company happened to company most of the time is the cash flow. And they overspent or they did not really look at their book. Then they only, most of them, then they would say, okay, I can borrow. It's okay. You no, know, this, that. So then they are in, that in, in, in terms of money borrowing, pressure is there already. And then if you running into, because why they do that is all for the name of expansion. So, so we, we, we need to expand our market. We need to expand our, the, therefore we need cash to do all that. And that's why they usually, they do, okay, you have a, $200 million um, cash reserve in bank for us. So we sign a contract on that. And then they take it like that. Then all of a sudden, you're running into a crisis. The market take, let's say the market take a downturn. And your business started to really also t- down. And all of a sudden, you, you, you find yourself, your income is not balanced uh, w- with your overhead. Because the, your product is not selling and the market is not good. People don't buy like people that. Okay. So now you owe money to the bank and now you need more money for that. I would say many, many times, uh, the company big trouble and even go out of business there is because they do not know how to manage money. So we always very conscious about it. Don't borrow the money, you know, everything, just use your, your, whatever you can, uh, you can expend, uh, spend it like that. That's the key because when the crisis, let's say, we'll go back to the, to the business crisis. The crisis is there because it, it, w- once it happened, right? So this guy, this uh, company, they have to lay off people. Uh, to save their overhead and this company has to temporarily close down blah, blah, blah. that is you know happen could be but we have never even have one close to that one we make our family meaning our employee they are our family feel very safe, safe secure for 40 years they see that this that we will never do that to them and we just spend a little less. For example, if we buy product, okay, for the next three months, we'll buy less. But we don't owe money to anybody. That is the longevity. To me, my opinion, you, you continue to operate and without fear. Uh, so while the other company, they are such a, they have such a big pressure on, on them because of money, um, issue. That's the longevity. Wow. Yeah. This is a very interesting point of view. Yes. Since I, uh, I've heard that yeah. if you want to expand your business, yeah. you should use financing and borrowing sure, money sure. as a tool. To that's a typical expand. business. Yes, that's typical. You know, that's so, philosophy. So how did you expand your business without borrowing money? I think it, it has to come from right from the very beginning. So we, we said, if we don't have the money, um, well, let's just don't purchase it. Let's just don't get this. So that practice actually 
more and more uh, give us the ability to have reserve, our own reserve. Uh, you know, the the profit that we generate uh, is we don't give it to usually. You know, they they call it uh, distribution for your owner. You know that, that we hate that. We we don't like that. So really, we have some distribution from the, from the profit. It's it's all there. Um, that every time I have to say, uh, is the medicine of, uh, of feeling safe and not to panicking. I tell you another reason is that, um, because the cash, uh, rich we have, when we doing business with our vendor, you know, semiconductor, Toshiba, you know, that all we take the parts of that. Let's say you running into a market that is questionable. The business uh, in the next three or six months, it looks like uh, it's, it's going down worse. That at this time, they have to make a decision. This company is asking for credit and uh, for taking these parts, and then they see there's another company, Kingston. It has no risk because they 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 pay cash, they pay like that. So we have the advantage when when the crisis happen um, in the market, they are having uh, they have to try to overcome. We don't have because the vendor will pick us first because they know it's safe for them. That's also a part of reason. Yeah, that is a competitive advantage. Over other competitors, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So not borrowing money. Yeah. So you're gonna be very independent in making decision. All the things we already talk about it. Uh, it's it's. I think it's very different from the traditional corporation how they view um, how do you manage the company yeah. and when the money and when you have pressure. Uh, you lay off people because your profit is down, uh, and the uh, times that you make a decision to lay off some, some people just based on uh, some not important reason. So we always give the people second chance or third chance even, um, to be, to correct themselves like that. That is a big difference is there. So the people on a, in the market, when they speak about the company Kingston, one of the, um, the, uh, the topic of always said, you know, Kingston really treats, treat their employee very fair. You don't have any worry then, then if you, if you work there, that give us, I think, competitive edge. When you want to keep an employee for such a long time, I believe that now, it relates to the way that you hiring people. You need to find the right people first because you're going to go with them for such a long journey. How do you know that one person is right? I think it's always a gamble. When you want to keep uh, an employee for such a long time, I believe that now, it relates to the way that you hiring people. You need to find the right people first because you're going to go with them for such a long journey. Um, how do you know that one person is right? Well, that's always the question. Yeah, to hire new um, um, persons or employee, I think it's always a gamble. It's always a gamble. You know, you 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 don't understand. You yeah, you, know, you see the resume. And you see some recommendation, you know, like that. But the reality is that you really do not know, uh, how talented is this person because they can say, I, I did this, I did this, now I'm all that. But when it comes to real practice, that there's sometimes it's a, a different story, right? So there are times definitely we hire people and it's around people and does not work out for the job that that he is supposed to do in that sense that because 
this is he is not a long term employee, so he's not really a family yet. We have no problems. So it's, I'm very sorry. You know, you, you, it does not work out just like that. Then we have to let it go. Like so, when sometimes it happened also with a long term employee. Because pe- time, people change in time. Okay, that's it. This person is already 25 years with the company. And all of a sudden that you feel like he is not serious now. He's lacking behind. He's, his attitude changed, you know, like that. Of course, then you have to seriously have a talk and warning and say, why do you behave like this? Give us a reason. If they sometimes give you a reason, you understand he's going through a really difficult time in his life. Um, or some kind of crisis there. We always have compassion is one of core values there. So remember compassion. This, this guy worked 20 years for your company and very, uh, hard work. Now he's going through a crisis in his life. Don't just judge him, make a judge because that you give him a second chance, maybe third chance like that. Uh, that's how we, we, we move that, the, the moving hard. It, it, most of the time it work out very good. Mm. Wow. So I can somehow understand the keys to success of Kingston by treating employees like family members by uh, treating each other with compassion and even having fun. So what was the wrong move that you have made in the past? We had some wrong decision in terms of coming out uh, direction. Uh, usually it's a product, what we should promote, what we should add to the, our product line. That is for sure with the time you will have a wrong decision. But that you overcome that very quickly. It's just it's not a big deal. And the 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 big decision we later on find found out it really was terrible decision. It hurts company um and in a many ways that actually I don't remember there's any any of that uh cases uh the occasion. It's, it's all, um, it's all this not very good decision, but it never really disaster, you know, like that. Then we can, we just say, okay, let's just work with that. And then slowly we can fade, we can fade this out and then, then replace with some other things like that. Never has a, a huge crisis that always said we made a really <laughs> wrong decision. We killed the company. We, we don't have that. When you make a mistake, usually what the result is that you uh, um, lose money. You lose money. You lose yes. money because it's wrong product or wrong decision how to sell the product, right? Because we 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 are position is uh, financial position is so good. There's never a worry about that. It's just the money replaces there. We move on like that, and that's one of the reasons. The core values that uh, you and your uh, co-founders have uh, set up for the company. Did you think about it right from the first day that you guys stay together and think about the future of the company? Uh, at, at that time, when I met him, David, my partner, um, he was working for an engineer company, his, his employee. And uh, I was struggling and, and find my own direction, what to do right there. He said, I could sit home with my spare time to design a product. It's very easy to do that. But then it's a, how do we sell it? That you are not working, have a job at this time. You can stay home to sell this product. So nothing to lose, you know, like, because we don't overhead. That was the beginning of, of, of this idea. I had no idea what I was selling. You know, I, I was very literate. Uh, in terms of uh, company, uh, in terms of computer. So I have a problem. I say, how do I sell? I can, I don't even know what I was, I'm going to talk about that. And it's very funny. And he says, okay, 
There are many people don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> they just pretend they know what they're talking about. Okay. And so that's easy. They just, I will teach you a few technical term,、yes. and you don't understand that at all. But when you are in trouble, when you're talking to, you're trying to sell your product, people, you know, kind of like that. You know, you are hitting a dead end, and you don't know how to that. What you do is that he said, "I write a list of the they, we call it buzz word." Okay. The buzz word meaning you throw that nobody understand. <laughs> <laughs> but, All right. But like,、right. and he said, "Just just look at that." <laughs> Very funny. And then when 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 you reach that,、uh, you don't know how to answer it. Then you just use one of the word. You know the stuff. Well, you know couple of <laughs> so. Most of the time, he shut up because he said, "Oh, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't want to show him.、Right. I don't know anything about it." <laughs> that is very funny, but that's the beginning of the, our our partnership. How we how we just we go into you know the 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 computer business. I believe that's why here I I can、uh, see be fun, be adventurous.、Yeah. Be Kingston, Be so Kingston. fun and adventurous.、Yeah. All of those. It seems like the core values has been there when you guys、uh, met each other. Very funny,、yeah. but very bold and adventurous to make it happen. Okay, one of the things I'm always uh, um, um, eager to 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 talk about is the, on the top. I was sitting outside the airplane on. Yeah, the tip or the 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 plane,、mm. and then the plane take off, and、uh, like that. That was a crazy idea. Um, uh, that I you sat there, that, like that outside that the airplane. Me, that was me. Yeah. So、oh, I was、gosh. I was looking for this kind of a feeling. How 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 it really is, and no place they are willing to 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 do that for me because I'm not a professional. I'm not a stuntman. I found a friend's friend. Uh, he lives in Hungary, and he is a very good pilot. He has a Jesus own airplane.、Uh, that ask him, could you do me a favor? This is my dream. I want to do that. He, he said, Yeah, just come over to to Hungary. First, look at this airplane.、Mm-hmm. I was sweating because it looks like it's a hundred years old airplane, like all almost <laughs> falling apart. You know, like that. I, I said, Is this the best? Airplane you you have, and he said, "Yeah, this is the best. I can do this, and I don't have any other airplane you you can put. I can f- perform that way, and that is one of the thing I want to do very much. So、mm-hmm. I did it, and I was happy. Okay, so you overcame your fear. Overcome your fear, yeah. That's the very good, it, very good saying. Yeah, overcome faith. Face the fear. Face your fear,、mm. and go ahead. You know, like that. So the picture about Viet Cru right there reminds me about the、uh, Vietnamese people working at Kingston.、Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about them? Yes, some of the we have many many、um, uh, employee from Vietnam, and they were there now maybe second generation already or third generation. Their grandparents, you know, came from. Uh, South Vietnam、uh, after the war or during the war, and so they were. Some of them have been working about almost thirty years with with one company, and I I have to say the the、uh, employee from、uh, Vietnam, they are number one. They are they're very smart when they work the. Number two, they are very res- responsible. So when you see when you go to see what they do, I most of the time I'm very impressed because they take it very seriously lo- what they doing, and very loyal to to the company. It's all because they feel part of important reasons they feel the culture is right for for them. But besides that, besides business, I know that you love music, and you and you、uh, do play some kind of a music instrument. I have. I actually, with all this year, 
maybe this is maybe 20 some years now, 25 years. I, 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 I want to, to play music, but if I all by myself, it's very boring, isn't it? Uh, and I choose to play drum. The reason, very simple. They, uh, my, my, my hand, the finger, uh, it's not really good to, to play the piano, the key, and guitar, or, or any of that. So I'm kind of clumsy, you know, with that. So then I said, oh, okay. If I play drum, it's only two, like, chopstick in your hand. So it's very simple. Now you're just beating on something. That, that's what I, 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 I thought. So, okay. I would choose drum. Uh, so I bought a drum set. I practiced a little bit and, and until I have a little bit idea what what is a drum doing uh i contact a few musicians and i said do you mind i want to form a band would you be willing to play with me as i'm nobody here in the band i I think i was lucky the musician i approached uh they were professional they're very good but for some reason they maybe they like me and so there's a no problem. Oh, I'll, I'll come and to practice with you. So the band, it started with four people, five, six, seven. It started to expand like a crazy. Um, and that's the beginning of, of, of the, uh, the band. Uh, today I still, we play for the charity reason. Uh, usually it's for hospital, theaters, uh, universities. And many of these organizations, they all need raise money every year. The way they raise money is to, to, to throw a big party. They call it beneficial benefit party. And they make, uh, t- good time happy. So during that time, they will, call, they call it fun reason raising. They just talk and that and then, Hopefully everybody raise their hands. Yeah, I, I like to have that, but it, it always worked that way. And me, what our contribution is get the people off the chair. <laughs> Cause when you have yeah. a, a party like that, everybody sit there, right? Yes. The party is with no, music, no, no action and no life. Mm-hmm. You know, that. So we w- w- want to play kind of music. That when you listen to it, you want to get up, you want to, you, you, you feel it, or you want to move that. That is most effective way that people all get up, get into the, the dance floor, dance. And I think that's part of the secret people open their wall. Ah, okay. Because they're having fun. So it's yeah, easier for them yeah, to make yeah. decision to give, w- one to give the away thing, the money. One of the reasons they say, Oh, yeah, such a good party, mm. such a good fun. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I don't really like that. But I have this question. Have you ever reflected on how music and business uh, have something in common? Yeah, there's a lot in common. Oh. Especially when you play music. If it's only like three, four, or five person band, it's very easy because it's all, it's, it's, you, you can adjust. If you make a mistake, very quickly just adjust. If people don't even notice that. But with a band, it's like 40, 50 people. The problem is this, that everybody plays a part in this whole thing. If you, your part that you play go off that, that affect every other music instrument because they, you lose, you lose, they lose their, their rhythm, lose their, the, 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 that, you know, they, they are professionals, so they, they read the notes. So then can, they read the notes. Oh, it's not like that. You know, somebody made a mistake. So that's m- most, um, horrible mistake, especially for drum. Uh, drum is the soul of the, I, before I don't believe it, I say just beating on the drum. And, and slowly I realized that uh, the drummer is the soul of the band. You in charge of the temple and you in charge of the intensity, intensity, higher volume or lower, right? When you started to do this, 
then you are you lead the band. People, the musicians, because they are all professional, they they feel that they said this is the moment that we need to pick up the intensity, or we we need to play soft like that, and that's what I later learned like that. So in a in a in a in a in a band, that's what is important: organized in in sync, in uh, harmony. Company exactly the same. You have different、um, department and different function, different that all all that you know happen at the same time. So you can say, "I want you to pay attention for this, 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 this." But these guys, if they do what you said, you do. But they are not connected with the rest of the department. And and the whole thing collapsed. But、so、how come we didn't know that? How come we have no idea what they're doing? How come was that? So it's exactly the same. You need to be in sync, and a a, a it's the same. You you do the same thing, and everybody knows that what you do. That's why the music note is there. You read you read. So this part you have the trumpet. This part you have a piano. You read the chart, and you come together like that. To me, it's the same.、Mm. So,、uh, for music, you have notes for other people to see、yeah. what others are playing.、Yeah. But for companies, what do you have to keep all people in sync? The culture, the always culture. the culture, always the culture. They feel good about where they are, and they will perform.、Mm. I I always、uh, attribute it. To the culture.、Mm. So now, after、uh, almost forty years, looking back at that long journey, now you see that we have a lot of、uh, young startup founders. They jump in the business with a、uh, high ambition.、Yeah. Mm. What lessons do you have to tell them, or to what tell advice? The entrepreneur,、yes. the startup. I always、um, believe in. Um, first, you need to set up a goal. What is your goal? What are you trying? You, if you said only, I wanted to have a company, and da da da. That's sure. Everybody would think that way. But you have to first set up a goal, not that goal like that. A goal that's realistic. You can you can do it. Then you try to reach that that goal. That could be. Choosing the product, which product that you wanted to spend your time, and finance you need to have enough, not not you know tons of money, but you have you have to really calculate how the 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 money you have available, how long will take you that if you don't make any、uh, profit or na- no income. How long your money can take this continue, right? I always believe that company fail, close the door. Ninety percent of happen is that they're running out of money. They have no choice. They just have to down. So my advice is is always,、uh, you need to have a a a a、uh, financial plan. It's not like you have to go all to the bank. Borrowed millions of dollars. Is that you have to be realistic? You say this is how much I have. This is what I want to achieve. How how much will that will cost to do that? Then you really have to then see. Okay, this is possible. Then you do it. If it looks like you're just dream too much dreaming, I I am a dreamer. Okay, I always tell、uh, anybody. I said dream and dream big. You know, you have to dream big then to reach that, right? But there are times also you need to be real, realistic. Otherwise, you just you you sink into that. You don't know how to get get out.、Uh, so, my advice is is all always have a, a a idea and then go for it. Just go for it. For writing, you have you have some financial bagging there. And then okay, then you 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 do it. 
you do it, you do it. Don't look back like that. And uh, that would be my advice. So if you have to choose only one characteristic, one personality that young people should have in order to succeed, yeah. what do you think it is? Um, there's so many, right? You need to be <laughs> smart. Uh, so the company wants you or you have your own company. You need to think smart. But okay, more than one. More, Being smart. More than one, yeah. Th think smart. Um, logical, you know, logic. It's sometimes you, you have the idea. It's, it's just not logical. So that's part of the smartness like that. And then the rest of it is that have, um, don't give up. There's uh, a good example um, from my personal ex experience is that we were in the somewhere where just you know, we lost everything. We don't have anything to buy the food even next month. And, and so then we said, then what do we do? Kill ourselves and I have children, I have a family, I have a little that. And that's the time that you have to say, tomorrow is another day. You, you don't know what will bring tomorrow. Have consistency. Just, just continue to do it. You will see the light. Thank you very much. I've learned a lot uh, through our conversation today. And uh, 36 years has passed by a long journey to look back. But I believe that we have many more years to look forward to. So nothing else, but I wish you and Kingston all the best to keep the call values long, long over time to produce more quality products and to bring more values to the society. Well, thank you. So you're so kind. Uh, I enjoyed uh, very much having this conversation, and it it really inspired me. And and even when I just talking to our audience, if you are interested in this episode, please don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button, and don't forget to leave some comments for us. This year, we also have a newsletter for all of the audience to follow what we are doing. We have a link right down in the description box below. One more time, thank you very much for watching this episode, and we'll be seeing you next time. Music